when they get rid of recess, it's because they're afraid that if they don't have, you know, if they don't take that 20 minutes and use it to cram more information into the kids, they won't do well on the state tests. So a lot of that is driven by the testing mandate. And if only they would read the literature, my God, I was just at a three-day conference on play. Everybody does better when they have a break, when they run around and play, when they get outside, physical activity, physical activity and literally being outdoors are so good. And they're good for kids because, you know, first of all, you get your yayas out, but actually that's how the information finally sticks and it gets your brain going again so that it, more information can get into it. It gets children coming to school instead of staying home with a stomach ache because at least they know they're going to have some freedom at some point. So the, the recess thing is really, it's a, it's a really bad idea uh, of taking away recess because you think that your children are going to learn more if they have that tiny little bit amount of uh, added to classroom time. It's not true. I mean, it isn't true. It's, it's, it's the opposite of true. And whoever is deciding that should read all the literature on how kids given more free time and play time actually score higher on the tests. Kids who walk to school in the morning do better on morning tests because they've gotten something going. But the, um, the other thing that's happening at recess is that certain activities are being banned. And I just got another letter this week about another school that banned tag because children touching each other can hurt each other. And it's like, yeah, that's how you learn to not be a jerk, right? If you're so, if you're, if you're a, a bad tag player and you're hurting kids, kids will not play with you. There's a feedback. It's the feedback of, I'm not going to play with you. And then you start adjusting your, uh, your actions and your demeanor, which is how you learn the social emotional learning. And, and if kids are playing tag in general, they're learning how to deal with fear and excitement and um, disappointment and each other and how to organize a game and you know is this place out are you safe over here that's negotiation it's i don't want to play there let's play there no okay we'll play that this compromise i'll be it you know there's leadership and so to take tag out of kids lives is like saying we're gonna you know we're gonna put you in a room without books to read and hope you learn how to read i mean you've taken something valuable out of kids' lives where they've always learned. I mean, tag is the most universal game on earth, and actually other animals play it besides us. And you said somehow this generation, this one generation just now can't handle something that has been handled throughout history, throughout every civilization. But uh, somehow 2018, 2019, whatever we're in, kids can't handle it. That's, that's frustrating. That's, that's, I didn't know that, that uh, even games like tag, and I think you talked about baseball or some other sport being altered or something. Um, I mean, because you're right, these are activities that we have been partake, participating they're, they're in. They're human. It's, it's, it's more than human. I mean, really, I, uh, Peter Gray, who's on our board, um, talks about how if you look at like gazelles, they're running around and they are, um, it looks like tag, but all animals are learning how to escape from a predator and how to find food, <laughs> right? I mean, that's how ancient the game of tag is. It's like, how do I get away from a predator? How do I go get food? I'm trying to get food by tagging them. I'm trying to you know, avoid the predator by avoiding it, right? So it's, you just can't get more fundamental than that. And to say we can't handle that is sort of like saying we can't handle crawling. It's like everything has been rewritten as something too hard for our vulnerable, fragile children to handle, even though we handled it and we're fine. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching the episode. If you're interested in contributing to the conversation and supporting the show, there's two easy things you can do. One, click subscribe. And two, visit our Patreon page where you get exclusive access to the Exploring Minds community.